is the de- once again excuse me oh battling a about a pneumonia last week and i'm still got a little touch of it but this is the de queen map and it shows you that the townships how they're laid out on the map but uh if you go and look that uh current operating mine is north of de queen and you can look and see where all of these old rivers used to lay and it's amazing how accurate the guys are um I've got another tutorial that I'll include in the package that will show you how to actually save this picture and then overlay it into your own Google Earth overlay to then be able to 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 match it up with the the new topos and other things. As you can see, a lot of the schools are listed. Ozark school there, Antioch school over here. Um, all the black dots are cabins, overland school. You know what? Schools are great places to metal detect for old coins. Those kids had silver coins in their pocket when they were playing on the playground, playing tag, you know, running around the monkey bars, and uh, guess what fell out? That's exactly right. So, you know, once again, mine private property. Uh, and you can, um, that's the other thing I can show you is how to get into your county records and find out what's private property, what's public po property. Some of these places may be state or county parks. Once again, find out your local rules and regulations. There's some states back east that don't allow any metal detecting on uh, what they call government-owned land, whatever it might be. So anyways, just make sure that you're, you're staying on the right side of the law, as uh, difficult as that is these days. But uh, you can see it'll show the old trails through, uh, through the mountains and everything. Um, those might not be a bad place to, to scout. If, if you see a ford, you can see all these named fords. Those are crossing those rivers. And uh, that is the Coosatot Kus River was the old name of it. I'm not sure if it's still called that today or not. But there's a lot of fords on that river. And guess what? If that's a fast-moving, flowing stream and uh, might flood in the uh, in the springtime, those guys still had to cross the uh, the river. So that one follows all the way up into the the hills over here. And let's see, that's showing Ducket. I'm not sure if that's a county name or what, but man, these old maps are fantastic. And this is actually Arkansas National Forest up in this area, and. Uh, so there's a lot of things for you to look at and uh, let's see the Missouri mountains over here Rattlesnake Mountain Fork Mountain and once again all those school locations are shown the schools will, were about every four to five miles so that the kids could walk to school and uh, it's the way the Amish still do it back in Ohio um, the kids the the parents are the school board they hire the teacher they set the curriculum the kids all walk to school, so you've got little pockets of schools, but guess what? All those schools had recess and other things going on. Here's a camp, Camp Wilder. So that's just the first one. I looked at this other one. Uh, let's see. This is the Eureka Springs uh, topographic map, and you can see that's up here towards the Missouri border. And 